Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to LearnAutomation.com. This is Mukesh. Today in this video tutorial, we'll mainly focus on the untrusted certificate. So today we'll mainly focus how to handle security certificate and Selenium web driver. So let's discuss the high level agenda for today. So today we'll discuss what exactly the secure certificate is and why we are getting the secure certificate most of the time. And finally, what are the fixes we can do for this? So before moving further, this question can come into multiple variations. So if you are attending for, if you are attending any interviews, you can expect this kind of questions. So how to handle HTTPS application? So you can see HTTPS only for the secure application. So the different question will be how to handle secure application, how to handle security certificate, how to handle untrusted certificate. So all these are uh, like synonyms. So if you are getting this kind of question, this is the solution which I will discuss with you. So let me move into the post which I published long back. <coughs> so I have an application which I can show you where you can get this certificate. So if you notice, this is HTTPS and if you see my blog or any other site, uh, not this one. Let's take any bank application, Citibank or an SBI. You will notice these are highly secured application. So data is encrypted and data is not private. So you will get this HTTPS site and you will see a green symbol. It means the security certificate is valid here. In the same way, if you go for SBI, you can see HTTPS. And this is also valid certificate. So you can see it showing the green. <coughs> but here you can see the certificate is invalid. And why it is invalid, the certificate you will get this issue due to these reasons. Each secure site has certificate, so if certificate is not valid up to date, certificate has been expired, or certificate is not valid for this particular directory. So many secure applications have the certificate, and in case if this certificate will get expired, you will get this exception, like your connection is not private. So what happens when you start Selenium uh, session by default selenium will not allow any untrusted certificate so if you want to continue if you do this manually if i need to click on this uh, advanced and proceed to this side then only i can move forward so this is the behavior with chrome let me show you with firefox and with ie this is one of the most easier easier topic, but it is very important. You need to do a small change in your code and you can access this. So in IE browser, you will get this kind of UI. Let's wait for the loading. Yeah, <coughs> not this one. Yeah, this there is a problem with the website security certificate. And if you say, continue to the website it will continue in the same way if you see this uh, Firefox I will share this application with you so you can check from your side and you will get in this way in Firefox your connection is not private if you click on advance add exception security exception confirm then only it will move forward so how to do this with selenium we need to do a small piece of code. The code itself I have mentioned on my blog, but let's start from the scratch. This is my project, Learn Automation. I have added one jar file, Selenium Server Standalone 2.52. This is not the latest, latest is 2.53. So still I have not downloaded it because it's working fine in my machine. I have one uh, package, so let me create a fresh package now and uh, package name I will give certificate issue let me create a class for Firefox Firefox demo I will show you for Firefox and Chrome and for I you need to try this you can take as an assignment for you so this is our class uh, let me increase the font size so I will go to Windows, Preferences, 
I will simply type font size. Click on color and fonts. Click on basic. Expand this. Uh, text font, add it. Right now, <coughs> the size is 10. Let me make it 14. loading yeah make it 14 click on ok apply ok so this is our class starting and closing let me create a small method public void handle certificate and let me write at the read test we need to import this so put mouse over import test ng let me start creating the instance web driver <coughs> driver equal to Firefox driver so good news about Firefox in Firefox you will get a different ways to do this we need to import this web driver so if you're working with Firefox you have two ways to handle security certificate so let me remove this statement as of now We have one separate class called desired capability class. So if you simply type desired capability, I will create object of this class. So as the name itself says desired capability, like based on your cap um, preferences, you can change the capability of any browser, not only with Firefox, same thing will be applicable for Chrome and IE browser. So desired capability, this class is coming from Selenium. So if you put mouse over, <coughs> actually there's a misspelling mistake. In spite of ES, I typed Y. So it's giving me suggestion, change to desired capability. And you can see this is coming from org.selenium, uh, org.openqa.selenium.remote. If I simply click this and let me make these changes, IES. So this is the class that we created. So we know we got this cap object. Using this object, I can play around the browser. So I will call one method called set capability. And you can see I have four different methods. So don't get confused. Just take the second one, which will ask you, give me the key and give me the value. So key, how you will get the key. So Selenium already specified predefined capabilities. So you don't have to write the code. They already have one interface called capability type. If you put dot operator, you can see they have so many predefined capability. So we need to focus on the first one. It says accept SSL certificate. And you need to simply assign true here. It means whenever you're getting any untrusted certificate, accept and continue. <coughs> now let me write the code. Simple if I type Firefox and if I press control space. Now it's a very interesting thing. Have you ever noticed we have Firefox driver with default, Firefox with capability, Firefox with profile and so on. So this particular concept is known as constructor overloading. As you have ever faced this question in Sel um, Selenium interviews, like what is constructor over overloading? So this is a one of the example. Firefox, if you start default, it will start a default session. But I don't want the default session. I want to start Firefox with this capability. So I can pass this capability here. then I can specify the application so if I say driver dot get let me specify the application application is CA certificate CACERT dot org so let me show you just give me a minute so let's command this code first I don't want to give this code let's start default instance and check how it works if I simply run as test ng test 
since Firefox is very slow, so it will take some 5 to 10 seconds to start a new session. This is the previous session, I will close this. And you might have noticed, uh, we'll come to this point, let's check. Okay, the reason, the previously I accepted, right, the certificate. So let me clear the previous instance. So if I go to this, this thing won't be applicable for you. So don't worry. Uh, what I will do, I will create a new profile. Mukesh profile. Just give me a minute. Yeah, so I got the new instance. Now if I run this code, it will throw me security issue. You can see <coughs> it is still accepting because previously we accepted. So even if I created a new instance it's not working because it says you have added a security exception for this site but if you're in your case it won't work let's try with chrome so in case if you're getting this exception what you need to do you need to simply uncomment this code and you need to say cap so it will start with uh, this setting in my case i added that exception in my profile so it won't ask again so let's do this with chrome for chrome what we need to do let me copy this code and let me paste here and this time i will say chrome demo and i guess for chrome also i added this so we will not get this exception for Chrome, but let's give a try. I will uncomment this code and here I will say Chrome driver. Remove this cap from constructor and we need to import this. So I will say import Chrome driver. To work with Chrome, as we know, we need to add Chrome driver. So I will use set property webdriver.chrome.driver. If you're not aware how to start a Chrome, then I already published a video on YouTube how to start with Chrome. I need to give the Chrome driver path here. So Chrome driver is located under G drive, Selenium, Chrome, yeah, this is the one. So I will press shift button and I will get this path, copy as path. So if I run this without giving this, let's see whether it's giving you that certificate issue or not. It's loading. And we can see console message starting Chrome driver 2.21. Okay, it's continuing because previously we added this while showing you manually. So I need to restart my system again. I will start getting that security issues. But this is the solution. Now, if you need to pass this capability. You can make this as true, not this one. You can pass this capability and we'll start working. Right now, it's not giving that exception because before running this video, I already manually accepted that certificate. So while in starting the web driver, it's continuing to the side. So in case if you're finding this issue, just write this desired capability, accept SSL certificate and pass this capability inside the constructor.
So this is for Firefox and Chrome. You can continue with iBrowser and let me know if you're finding an issue. So the desired capability class that we introduced today, this is very helpful for many purposes. In future, we'll upload Selenium Grid concepts. In Selenium Grid also, desired capability will play a very important role. So we'll use this extensively. And uh, in file downloading, we will use this desired capability. So this is really very important class. So th that's all I have for this. If you have any doubt regarding this, just you can drop me an email. And for any feedback, you can comment below. This site uh, URL and uh, this link I will post in the video description. You can check and start exploring. If you have any other website which is throwing this kind of exception, you can uh, continue and start practicing. But all these applications, if you want to try, this is all highly secured and certificate is also valid. <coughs> So I guess we have covered everything. So thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.